Nangagwe, fired earlier this month as vice president, is poised to lead after the resignation of 93-year-old Robert Mugabe, who succumbed to pressure to quit from the military, the ruling party and massive demonstrations. Nangagwe greeted the crowd of tens of thousands with a raised fist. Mugabe was the world's oldest head of state when he quit Tuesday amid impeachment proceedings. In the end, he was isolated and showing few of the political skills that kept him in power for 37 years and made him a prominent but polarizing figure on the world stage. Mugabe was not attending Friday's swearing-in, and ruling party officials have said he will remain in Zimbabwe with their promise that he is safe and his legacy as a hero will stand after his fight for an independent Zimbabwe. Some people ahead of the inauguration began to dance in the stadium stands. Banners erected in Reed, Dawn of a New Era, and No to Retribution, even as human rights activists began to report worrying details of attacks on close allies of the former First Lady and their families. Nangagwe has warned against vengeful retribution. Tende Liseo held a small Zimbabwean flag as she sold drinks from a cooler outside the stadium. She said she would welcome a fresh start, saying, Life now is impossible. Right now, nothing has really changed for me. I still cannot get my money from the bank, said Amin Mutara, who had been in line since 6 a.m. Attending the inauguration will not bring food for my family, said Kelvin Funga, a 19-year-old selling bananas from a cart. Many young people are well-educated but jobless, reduced to street vending to survive. Others have left the country. Elsewhere, there were signs of hope amid the uncertainty. Black market rates for cash have tumbled since Mugabe left office. Before he stepped down, one had to deposit $170 into a black market dealer's bank account to get $100 cash. On Friday, $100 cash was selling for between $140 and $150. As the inauguration crowd streamed by, Sharon Samariwo sat on a ledge, watching. She said she hoped Nangagwe would learn from the errors of his predecessor, and she acknowledged that the path ahead for Zimbabwe is unknown. Still, after 37 years, we've got someone different.